another episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. And on today's episode, um, we're in the Thanksgiving season. Actually, Thanksgiving's next week. So I'm going to share with you my recipe for um, candied sweet potatoes. Now, this was my mother's recipe, and it's been handed down. Of course, she's still with us. Thank the good Lord. Um, but these are so amazing. and they're all, Sweet potatoes is one of my favorite um Thanksgiving items, uh, food types. I love them, and they're, they're so good, so good. And this recipe is so simple, and it's so amazing, and you are gonna love it. So let's get started. Um, what we're gonna be using is some um, little baby marshmallows, little baby ones. And in here I have a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg, and I've got a cat over there meowing. Um, and I've got some pineapple juice, and I've got a little bit more in here because, um, well, I'll tell you why in just a minute. But some sweet potatoes that I've already got cut up and I have already cooked them. And we'll go over that in a second too. Some brown sugar and just a little bit of vanilla. Vanilla makes everything better. Okay, now what I've done is I've taken my sweet potatoes and I've boiled them. And cut them in about the same um, diameter. You want to make sure they're the same diameter so they cook, you know, um, simultaneously so they get done all at the same time um, but I went ahead and boiled these for about uh, maybe 10 to 12 minutes so we're just gonna get them just a little bit soft fork tender you don't want to cook them all the way because then you'll they'll be mush so make sure you don't do that so again you just put them in your pan and boil them for about 10 minutes and then take them out and drain them and what have you now what I was telling you about with the pineapple juice um, I've already got one little can of it in here um, and I am just, I don't know why, every time I go to film, my cat starts talking to me, but whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our brown sugar into, and I just put it in here, because it's easy clean it. That's what I like. And then you're going to add your, um, cinnamon and your nutmeg. Now you don't need a whole lot of nutmeg because it's very pungent flavor. And I'm just going to give that a whisk mix it up real well and the reason I had the extra pineapple juice out was just in case um, it wasn't thin enough for me or I didn't have the right consistency I just I just eyeball it um, but I will make sure you you have the full written recipe um, on in the kitchen with Sandy at blogspot.com actually the written recipe is already there for you so we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix oh oh it smells amazing so simple and these are so good I'm telling you your guest is going to just a pinch just a pinch just a pinch your guests are going to love this so delicious mixed up real good now we're gonna put these I've sprayed this with non stick cooking spray and you're just going to lay your potatoes Right down in there. And you, you want to kind of make sure that they're not overlapping too much because you want them all to get in there and get that goodness. Get some of that goodness on them. Well, let me chase it around the bowl there first. Just lay them right in there. Now, I'm just making a small batch because I wanted to share this wonderful recipe with you. And you can trust me that on Thanksgiving Day, my batch is going to be like three times this amount because they're even better left over, I'm telling you. Okay, we're just gonna squeeze all, try to squeeze as many as you can in there. Just kind of stick them on the sides. Do what you, do what you gotta do, get all them taters in there. Okay, now, what you're gonna do is, so simple. So simple. Just pour this little sweet mixture right over top. You see it's already got a little bit of thickness to it. And this is going to bake in the oven, and it's going to caramelize right over these. Oh, that's going to be so good. So, so good. So delicious. And then what we're going to do is put them on a spoon just a little bit on top. Um, and I, like I said, I've got, I'm not sure if I told you, but my oven is preheated at 400. And these are going to bake probably about 20 to 25 minutes, just until they're tender. And what you're going to want to do is 
you know, off and on during that process, make sure you get that out and spoon some of that liquid over there and you can flip them right over um, in the dish as well to get them nice and coated. But we're not gonna put our marshmallows on until they're just about done. What I like to do is cover them with foil because I want them to cook thoroughly before they start kind of like browning. Um, and this just helps them uh, cook evenly because all the, the heat and steam stays in there and makes them nice and tender and delicious. I'm going to pop these in the oven and we're going to bake these for about 20-25 uh, minutes and then I'll meet you back here and we'll finish them. Two different things going on here. Now, this is for my dressing and you better make sure you watch this video because this one is put off there for a burn nest of delicious. Okay, I have pulled my sweet potatoes out of the oven, and I want you to look how this is thickening up in here. First, look at this, fork tender. Look at that. That's how you want them to be. You don't want them to be any more done than that, because we're going to pop them back in there for about 10 minutes. Ooh, and just spoon that over there. Now, these baked for about 30 minutes, and during the baking process, I was Turning them babies over just like that so we can give them a bath and all that delicious candied juices. Oh, my goodness, that's hot. I guess that's what ovens do, huh? Okay, stick them back down in there. Now we're going to add the marshmallows. Mm -mm. Just add those right on top. Oh, and these are going to bake right in there. That's going to be so amazing. Now, if you wanted to, you could put some walnuts on top. Be delicious, absolutely delicious. I've had it both ways, walnuts without walnuts. It's, it's really good, that that extra crunch. Uh, walnuts make anything better. Just sprinkle this on there liberally. And then we're gonna pop that, they're sticking to my fingers. We're gonna pop this back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. And I'm going to leave the foil off this time. I took, I baked them for 30 minutes with the foil on. Now we're going to leave the foil off this time. And then we're going to put them back in the oven. I don't burn myself first. Um, for 10 minutes and then it's going to be time to eat. My sweet potatoes are done. And they are done to perfection, I'm telling you. Look at that. Look at that sauce on there. Look at that, oh my goodness. Tell me you don't want some of those. Look how thick that got, look at that. It's like a glaze. And I just can't wait to dig into these because oh, my bowl is about to go flying off the table. I just love sweet potatoes. I gotta try a bite. Mm, look at that, how tender. I probably better let this cool for a second because I have a feeling it's gonna get pretty ugly if I don't. All that hot, bubbly deliciousness. These are so good. Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my goodness, you have to make these. You have to, you just have to make these for your Thanksgiving dinner, for your family. Um, these are truly amazing. I'm telling you, they're so full of flavor. And your family will thank you, trust me. Um, make sure that you uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Um, I'm also on Pinterest. You can find the full written recipe at In the Kitchen with Sandy at blogspot.com. Um, these are amazing. And I hope that you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving and make sure that you um, make these. You gotta make this.